something a little bit different today. And I'm going to introduce you to my tank of simulated, real life, almost real, pond like experience with wildlife in it. That's right. So, to do that, we gotta put some jigs in. So, I'm going to show you how to set a jig, you know, hook up a jig. So, all right. Down here. Now you don't need to see my inhalers. All right. So, this is a six cents stroker craw. That's what that one is. This one comes from um, another company. <laughs> they're, not, they're, not, they're not online anymore. So, But it's a nice looking craw. It really is. It's a good looking craw. So, what we're going to do, we're going to use a couple offset hooks in order to um, put these in my tank. We would hook them up sort of like um, a uh, yeah. Your Texas rig. So, Texas rig, we would take a bullet weight. So we're going to do a little Texas tree. So, so in, in order, order to, to do this, this I'm, I'm going to measure how far I need to put this in. This so, and where, where it's going to come out. So, so yeah, it's just back, back of those things right there. Right there. All right. So, we'll stick, stick that, that in. Just about a quarter inch. Put it up. We're going to turn it. And we're going to push that through. We're going to bend it. If you can see, I'm bending it. And it pops right out the other side. So. And that. With a weight do, 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 do. we would pull this through the grass through their beds and that is a Texas rig do, do, do. okay so we're going to do this similar to this one except this is a different type of offset hook so we're going to push this all the way through and whew, all the way through. This is a long hook. Really long hook. So we're pulling this all the way through its body. All the way through the body. Like that. All right. All right. Good. And we're going to put this I'm very good at putting things through holes here. Oh, my goodness. And there is another one. Okay. Off to, to the, the tank, tank of, of simulation. simulation. Dun, dun, dun. Huh. Here we go. Okay, the tank of simulation. We take the lid off. We have Bob in there. Bob is in there. There's Bob. So, I've simulated stuff on top. We have our stroker craw from Six Cents. And we're going to put the stroker craw in here. And we're going to 
sort of bounce it just like we would in desert float. So we would have to just drag it. All right, so that, notice the appendages. appendages. The appendages make noise in waves. Okay, so that's stroker craw. Here's my generic. They both cost about the same, so... <clears throat> But notice that this one has much longer appendages on it. And so it has a heart, it falls slower. They both have a quarter ounce weight on both. This one sparkles a little bit more than the stroker. And this, you know, this is what a bass is going. Bob is not interested. He's just looking. He's hiding behind the dragon. All right, so that's that. And put them both in. Stroker crawls a little heavy. This one isn't. So, kind of like the generic better than the stroker crawl. Seems to flop around a little bit better. But that, those are creature baits. Creature baits. Now, we are going to try. Huh. Ah, there it is. I did not put a uh, line on this. So. This is the rabbit bait. The one with the feather on it. Rabbit bait. Well. Let's put it over by the uh, current. So notice that uh, it just sort of sits there. And the, the feathers, the fur, that's rabbit. Give it a little bit of jiggy. Little jiggy. And it just sits there like a worm on the bottom. And the feathers, or the fur, will sway with the current. So it has a little bit of life, and you really don't have to do much with it. And that's that. That's called a Ned Rig. I could Ned Rig these and just let them sit on the bottom like that. But they seem very heavy. So, But that's a Ned Rig. And you can see Bob behind there. Bob. But that's the Ned Rig. You can see the feathers move, the fur move. And that is a Ned Rig by Rabbit. Rabbit Beats. Rabbit Beats. So all right, and that is my simulated environment for us to test things in. Is that cool or what? That's pretty cool. All right, so we got to see these in the tank. The Stroker Craw by Six Sense uh, really doesn't have a lot of motion to it. This one I would have to play with a little bit more on the bottom of the lake. 
Um, this one, I could jump it because of the really long appendages on it. I could jump it, and as you saw, it falls slowly, and the appendages sort of floated up. The net rig by Rabbit, Rabbit Bates, let me say rabbit, because it's rabbit fur. Um, this one right here can just sit there. They can just sit there, and I can, I can wiggle it a little bit and let the current show it. And, and then, then move it, it hopefully closer to wherever the prey is, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. So, so both of the, I mean, all, all these will do re really well, but um, the sixth six sense is a little stiff. <laughs> so, uh, I remember, they, they are a, a, a hard bait company getting into plastics, so I'm sure they'll get better. And I got that on clearance. And this one right here, um, actually did pretty good. And this one, the Ned Rig, did really well. So I hope, oh, that sabulates me. Here I am. Gotta woke up with this eye thing. Look at this. Look at this. It's all red. It's all red. Look at that. Must have popped a blood vessel in my eye or something. But, uh, uh go figure. So it doesn't hurt. It doesn't itch. So it's just like, you're just like, like red. red. So, so anyway, anyway, guys, keep, keep your lines tight. Work, work your plastics. plastics. We'll do another one on worms and, and the different ways to, to um, like, like wacky rig them and drop shot them and things, things like that and, and how to work them in the water. water. So, so these are just creature baits, which I commonly Texas rig it, although you could use them also on trailers on jig heads. So. Um, so, so I could put, put that, that on this and have, have the trailer come on off of it to give it more, more life, which I would probably do more with this one, just because it has more trailers to it. So, surprised? I am. All right. Keep your lines tight, everybody. Have fun and uh, leave, please comment and leave, um, uh, subscribe and like below and leave any comments that you have about these, so take care, everybody.